Welcome back uh, to the fish room. In a couple of previous videos I did a breeding setup for the Celestial Pearl Danios and for the green uh, Neoras Bora. Later on I did a fry grow out aquarium for both of these fish. And finally in this aquarium I'm planning to keep my adults uh, that I will sell. First I need to rearrange this uh, abomination. I need to clean it. This used to be a display aquarium my previous hill stream aquarium so after we rearrange the things inside a little bit i can finally add the adult fish so let me stop talking and let's go Aquarium has uh, completely been uh, filled up uh, with water. I also added the uh, hang on the back uh, filter in the background. It is uh, fully cycled. I've been using it in one of my older aquariums for almost uh, one year. On the bottom, I added a thin layer of uh, JBL Manado. Its uh, thickness is uh, only one centimeter. It is inactive uh, substrate and contains no nutrients except iron. It has a very porous uh, structure and it's a perfect breeding ground for uh, beneficial bacteria. The next step is to add the plants and I decided not to add them directly to this substrate. Instead I will use uh, terracotta pots. So I will add a couple of terracotta pots filled with aquarium soil and then I'm going to put the plants inside them.
So in my breathing station there's a lot of fry. The first one was uh, an accident. I didn't attempt to breed them. This small fry you see it looks like a small tiger with stripes. I found them accidentally in the green uh, Neorasbora breeding aquarium at the bottom. First I didn't have a clue what it was but then I remembered I had some pygmy corridoras that were there for three months. So this is pygmy corridora fry. It is approximately a couple of weeks old. They are doing fine. I managed to pull uh, four of them. They are eating uh, live baby brine shrimps and dry food. So in the future I will try to breed uh, pygmy corridoras on purpose. This was uh, more of uh, an accident. Inside here is also some celestial pearl denio fry. They are only 10 days old. In here I have some uh, rainbow shiner fry that are approximately 7 days old. And uh, there's a lot of them, I think around 100, so I will try to sell them also. They were very easy to breed. And uh, this uh, breeding box that is actually a fish handling cup. I still need to connect the air supply from the up. I have some celestial pearl denio eggs and uh, I will keep them here until they hatch and then I will move them to a different place. So that's all. Uh, behind uh, the guppies are doing fine. I'm finding uh, fry on a regular basis mostly. They are there in the grass, so I'm pulling them out. Otherwise, their parents would eat them. I'm trying to catch some of them on the camera, but they are very playful today. This is a male, and another male, and a female. The aquarium has uh, finally been completed. I added some extra terracotta pots. So the pots on the left side will remain 
in, inside of this aquarium and the pots on the right side will be transferred to a different aquarium as soon as I make it. Also, I decided to go with the uh, crypts because they are very low maintenance and they are very easy to care for. I don't need to do a lot of trimming and I don't need to add any additional uh, liquid fertilizers. Also, I didn't want to add too many plants because uh, this aquarium is imagined in a way that I will transfer the fish from the fry grout aquarium to this aquarium as soon as they reach their adult selling size usually for the celestial pearl denios this is three to four months and then later on i want uh, i want it to be easy to catch the fish with the net in these two aquariums i have a celestial pearl denios that will eventually go to the big aquarium i created on the left side i have nine of them that are three months old and on the right side I have uh, 27 celestial pardenios that are only one month old so I will wait a couple of weeks more before I add them to the main aquarium Six weeks later and celestial pearl denios are finally big enough. I just need to catch them and I can move them to the big aquarium. Thank you. 